Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, it's back to this is Immortal Planet, and we are about to take on the second of the challenge rooms. We've also got a bunch of um, extra tools that we could use to do so, should we so choose. And I um, don't know if I'm going to use them, because the disintegration beam and the ice shard are just so good. Uh, we've also likewise got a whole bunch of other things to show off, but uh, that may have to wait for the... Uh, item and, and magic show off and, and weapon stuff that I'm going to do after this video. Uh, although I do have plenty of memories, I just noticed. So, let's give us that extra endurance that we need to use everything. Um, and then we've got plenty of agility, so a little intelligence uh, never hurts. So that'll be what we take. We are going to want to be buffing up our spell damage and our item usage and all that. Uh, so we've got, we've outfitted ourselves with plenty of... Um, Hopefully, plenty of everything. If it turns out I don't have enough health or something, we can always go back. But here is the second of the challenge rooms. You remember the deal. There are three waves, basically. And uh, it's just full of, of jerks that are bad. Now, the ice beam, you may recall, is uh, very recommended on those mage and psyker type characters if you can get them from a distance farther away than you know they are to uh, start using their magic on you these guys again just like that uh, psyker boss we just beat will fold if uh, either if taken from up close or from a bit of a distance however at the uh, middle distance just like that they are of course extremely deadly okay I think I'm doing all right I took a bit of a pounding and I actually used up one of my syringes before the sniper was dead, and that is, of course, very poor form indeed. However, uh, I think I'm in good shape, because somewhat inexplicably, to me at least, um, the last phase of the second challenge room here uses... doesn't uh, bring back the psychers, and, you know, I mean, I'm here to tell you, those guys are the real threats. Uh, I've got enough magic now to pretty much just blast everybody from a distance. So, uh, there we go. That's why you put points in magic, my, my friends, because, yeah, that was not at all bad. And in fact, that took so little time that I don't see any reason uh, not to also make this video our uh, weapons and items showcase, because, you know, uh, it was feel weird releasing like a minute and a half video, I guess. Uh, so let's keep pumping up the willpower. I think I probably only have enough for one level up there. Anyway, uh, as far as items go, we got a, we have a couple new spells. You've seen Lightning Bolt, Disintegration Beam, Ice Shard, uh, Psychic Surge. We will try to show that one off. Um, telekinesis, I, you saw that last time. It just pushes people away from you uh, and it stuns them as well. Fireball, ditto. So Seeker Orbs and Drain are really the two two new ones to show off as far as items go. Uh, we haven't used Hyper yet because we haven't had the endurance for it. We've seen the uh, proximity mine. I just now have enough for the combat disc and we've got uh, our various grenades and stuff so let's let's get to it. Let's show those off. Okay, uh, so first off we will take a little bit of damage uh, so I can show off the, uh, the Psychic Surge. Just take it in the teeth there and just heal myself right up. You saw that there's a relatively quick cast time on that, and that's, I'm sure, on purpose and is uh, very useful because, you know, you, you want to heal quickly. It heals red damage, not um, not gray. The only way to heal gray damage is by those auto-injectors of immortal blood. So, that's that. All right, we hit ourselves with uh, a bit of uh, hyper there, and you saw that it extended our um, stamina beyond the normal maximum which is, as you may expect, very nice. It did a little bit of damage and gave us a little bit more stamina. Unfortunately, the stamina also starts draining basically immediately, so that's, you know, could be better. You see there, if you have if you have gray health, then the uh, Psychic Surge really doesn't, doesn't do a whole lot there. I don't have drain out yet, so I probably shouldn't take on this guy, but whatever. Let's smack him with these combat discs. So, not totally useless, but again, it took three to take that guy down. Um, and they're just not going to do enough damage against a boss to make it super worthwhile to me, anyway. I don't... I've just never, like, 
gotten them. Use items, man. Who knows? So it goes with these things. Uh, so now, the only thing I'm going to take out this sniper and just head back there. Uh, that's not enough memory. See, I, you can do a whole loop now and not have enough uh, memories for a level up. Nevertheless, we can rest, which is fine. Uh, and I'll show off the old Seeger orbs, which, as I mentioned, are basically actually, since we're back here anyway, let's change items. Get out both types of grenades. And uh, let's get out drain as well. There we go. Uh, so now we've got Seeker orbs and drain, and I think that's it. Uh, I, th I showed off the mace staff, I'm pretty sure. Um, not so he didn't get any new weapons that time. But that's fine, that's that's uh, how it goes. We'll see if we can't do something about that next update. Let me tease you with. Okay, uh, so first off, let's disarm the mines here. And we'll have this gentleman come after us. You remember the Seeker Orbs, it's just like how that guy did them. You put them down kind of like mines, and then if they don't like the guy, they'll eventually go after him. You can see I basically had to use my whole complement there to take him down. Uh, now, he was an alien warrior, which is a fairly advanced form of the alien. Nevertheless, uh, you know, still not my favorite. Again, there, I'm using that um, auto-injector of immortal blood because I don't have them as one of my items, so as soon as I pick the thing up, I use it. Now then, look at that. I just sucked the stamina right out of him, and it was just like Hyper because it gave it to me, which is just real nice. Um, so if there's a Psyker who's giving you problems, you can just smack him with a bit of a drain. That'll uh, take away their ability to do that, to use any magic on you or anything like that, and walk up and, and bash him with the big rush of um, Psyche that you just got, composure that you just got. Same deal works with uh, regular people, of course. Oh, look at that. Sweet, sweet stamina. Yeah, it's a good one. Um, I don't know if it's going to enter into regular rotation with me, but it deserves to. So, uh, let's now talk about grenades. You huck them, and they burn stuff. Here it goes. Yep. Ah. Ow. Quit doing what you're doing. Okay, that was the fire grenades. Nothing really special there. If somebody's weak to fire or you just want fire to be a part of your life, you can do that one. Here are the toxin grenades. Again, stuns on a direct hit. And uh, you can see toxins tend to be a little bit more damaging than uh, fire, especially when you're walking through them. But even still, um, yeah, it just, just doesn't, really, doesn't really do it for me in the same way. Um, in the same way that, say, magic would. I mean, you you saw how it was going in the last part of this uh, match uh, here, the, the challenge mode, when I had um, just... I was throwing around ice, be ice shards and disintegration beams and just absolutely going bananas with it. Uh, but that, or whatever, that's fine. So, that uh, takes care of that. That takes care of the... Actually, let's go to Disintegration Beam and Ice Shard. That'll be my go-to for a while. Oh, and I'm <laughs> certainly going to want uh, health out. Here we go, Immortal Blood. And it doesn't matter the other one you pick. I'm just going to stick with the Ceremonial Pistol. So that was the, the third area. Ladies and gentlemen, we, we have uh, a little more than one area left, but we are certainly nearing in on the end game. So uh, the plot thickens, of course. I'll be posting more of those... Um, memories and, and shards and stuff like that, so uh, I hope you've enjoyed it so far. I, I know I, I've enjoyed playing the game. I'm almost through the game on uh, New Game Plus on Nightmare Mode, and I'm feeling very confident. As with most hard mode things, it seems to be hardest in the beginning, so uh, I hope to be able to show that off. Maybe I'll do a long play of it or something like that. But regardless, uh, please join me next time as I tackle the fourth and final major area in Immortal Planet.